on PC, just got FS25, and you're ready to do a little more with the game? Let's enable the dev console. Stick around. Okay, so we can enable the dev console one of two ways. Well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. But my favorite way is through the FSG Mod Assistant. And if you're familiar with the FSG Mod Assistant, well, it is FS25 ready. Thank you to Mr. Sage for making that happen. Such a good program. Okay, so we're in 22 mode. Let's get 25. First thing we're going to do is go up here to the set user preferences. And then we're going to select, uh, let's see, we're going to be in display here. We're going to go to the setup wizard. And then we'll scroll down to the 25 section. First thing we want to do is enable this version. And then there should be a button here and here to get get the uh, game path set up. Okay. Once that's done, we're good to go there. We can close that out. You can also go into game details, click on 25, and you can select the, the game settings XML and your game file there. Um, and then you can add some game arguments. Now we're gonna to wanna to add cheats because without cheat, you need cheats to be able to do the um, the money command and a couple others. If you don't have that in there, you're gonna be kind of limited on which commands you can use, okay? And then we want to make sure that this is enabled and development controls is enabled. And that's all you gotta do, close this out and then do a reload folders. And what that does, it kind of not only refreshes what you see in 22, but it'll also add a new feature, a uh, new button over here. So if we click this, now we have our two different games. So we can swap between the different games here. So we select 25. We're now in 25 mode. And then you can set your folder active, just like you normally would. So not much is different as far as 22 goes. Now, one thing I like to do first thing is always go in here and I'll go to add folder. And then I'll go to my, uh, my games, the, where my mods folder is, which is in my documents, my games, farming simulator 2025 mods. And I'm going to create a couple folders in here. So uh, I'll create another one here. We'll call this one FSG public. So we do have some mods on our public service. Double click that, select folder, and it'll add a new collection. Now I don't have any mods in there, so it's going to be an empty collection. But once I set this active, I can right click it here, set active. You can select it from the drop down, set, set active, whichever way works best for you. Just make sure that you set that folder as active. Otherwise, it's going to stick with the default. All right. Now you can create as many folders as you want. We'll go into more detail in another video, but cool. Perfect. Let's say you don't have Mod Assistant or you don't want Mod Assistant. I'm going to put the link in the description. It's a quick, easy download. You can get a portable version or you can have it installed on the computer choice is yours. Anyway, if you don't want it or don't want to use it or you have issues with it, here's the other way to enable your developer controls. So first you want to navigate to your documents, my games, farming simulator 2025 folder. Okay. Make this a little bigger here. And then you want to scroll down and look for the game.xml. Now you will want to open this in an editor. So if you hold the left shift, right click and then go to edit here it'll open it up with notepad and then you want to scroll down to near the bottom where it says development and controls you want to change the controls from false to true okay and then save it i wouldn't worry about any of this other stuff uh the warnings that's if you have a, a mod with an error or a mod with a warning it'll open the console for you automatically. Or if you have a, a mod with errors, it'll open the console for you. So that can get a little annoying, especially when you're downloading mods from weird places. Anywho, 
So once you save that, load up the game, and you'll have the little console that you use the tilde key to gain access to. But the best way to do it is through the mod assistant. So we should be all set up. Now if we launch the game, which I've already got mine open, uh, you should be able to hit the tilde key, which is the button right below your escape key. It looks like a little dash or a little squiggly line or whatever you want to call it. Hit that and your console shows up. All right, so this first one, you can scroll through. So you can use page up, page down to scroll through it. Which, uh, that's really if you're just looking for errors or what have you. A lot of modders use that. Okay, so if we hit that tilde a second time, we can actually type in some commands. Which, right now I'm not in the game yet, so there's no reason to type the commands yet. All right. And let me... Go ahead and open that up, and uh, I'm going to load this game into a, a uh, yeah, we'll do an existing save, why not? Go ahead and start it. Let this baby load up, and uh, yeah, if it takes a second. All right, we're loaded up in the game. Let's go ahead and enter into the game. Now, if you're on multiplayer, before you do anything, make sure that you are logged in as admin, and you are a member of the farm. Otherwise, you're going to be wondering why you're not getting the money or whatever the situation might be. So make sure you are logged in as admin on the server and that you join the farm. Got to Sometimes you got to create the farm first if you haven't already. But anyway, you need to be a member of the farm to be able to add money to the farm. Because whatever farm you're a member of and you type in the money cheat command, whatever you want to call it, that's the farm the money's going to. Okay. Now I'm in single player, so it's... Uh, I mean, there's only one farm, so any money I put in will go to this farm. Not a big deal. All right, so if I hit the tilde key, hit it again. So second time, and I, I get a little uh, auto whatever. All right, so GS. I always start out with GS. And then we will type, uh, let's see, money. See, it already pops it up. Now I can just hit enter, and it'll fill it in. Now you see where it says amount and then farm ID. Now I can actually set how much money I want to set and then to which farm ID. But if you just leave it blank and hit enter, that'll go to your farm. And the farm ID is not the name of the farm. It is the farm number, which is one through eight. But it's best to just join the farm and just not do the farm ID. That way you know which one it's going to. Now, if I just leave it blank, default is 10 million. See how I just gained 10 million dollars to the farm? Okay, now let's say I want to take money away. So we could do negative five. We'll do five, negative five million, takes away five million. Okay, so what other commands can we use? Uh, there's a whole handful of commands such as uh, filled ownage, which the filled ones are only work in single player. So you could do uh, GS farm land. See, it has buy all and sell all. So if I do sell all, it sells all of my land. See all my numbers on the map just change to white. If I do uh, GS buy oh, farm land, GS farm land uh, buy all, that'll buy all the land. Now, if you're not sure what the command might be, you can do a GS search and then type um, let's see flight let's say we want to find flight mode we type that now it'll give us a response here for the commands that match flight and it, we only got one in this case which is gs player flight hoggle okay now it says uh player flight enabled now if i close oh you can see right there enables flight to be toggled key j uses Q and E to change altitude. So um, the help menu actually, the search will give you more information. You can also use help to list all of the commands that are available. So if you go into multiplayer and you just type in, let's see here, GS help, there's all of our, oh, sorry, closed it. There's all of our commands, which we can kind of browse through, right? Um, did that work? Oh, did it not work? 
Okay, let's try that again. Nope, it's just help. Yeah, it's just help. Okay. There we go. And then if you type in uh, GS, or help, I want to do GS for everything. Um, add of GS, add, and they, they are case sensitive, money. Uh, not found. Oh, money add. Okay, maybe if I did it right. Long day. Money add. And it, why is it not working? GS money. It is GS money. Add a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the answer. <laughs> wow, I figured it'd give me more details than that, but it just says add a lot of money. That's funny. I guess that's the description of it. But anyway, so if you're not sure what it is, you can do the search. Uh, you can also do help to see all the commands that are available. Works perfect. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you can do all that. And, uh, oh, flight mode, press J and fly around. You can do this in multiplayer. It doesn't matter if you're admin or not. So that way you can kind of get your screenshots. Oh, the way I get my screenshots is I'll open this up and I'll do GS uh, HUD. See HUD visibility? Oh, notice how I'm moving them right here? I'm actually using the arrow keys to scroll through them. Okay, so once I type in my GS or anything really you can no you gotta type something in okay so i can scroll through everything here if i wanted to so gs uh hud hud visibility and kind of see how it's a little i guess it's more bold more white um maybe anyway it's the top one hit enter and it puts it in there you hit enter again and then it runs it now my hud is gone so now I can take some beautiful screenshots. So if I go down here, like so, let's say I want to get a good screenshot here. I really like the fog. I, I like to capture the fog the best I can. And print screen. Yeah. So that's how I get all my screenshots as a, and, and to get those good angles, because you can kind of you can kind of work the angles a little bit. You still have collision. But yeah, you can work those angles a little bit better to get some some fresher looking screenshots. Like, I don't know, maybe something like that looks cool. But yeah, I'll fly around if I'm trying to take a screenshot. That's how I do it. Anyway, so yeah. Now, if for any reason... The game does not, we'll minimize that. Let's say for some reason it doesn't seem like the uh, mod assistant is doing what you want it to. Another thing you can do if you have the eShop version, if you right click on the FS25, hold left shift and then, or sorry, hold left shift and right click it and then Where's it at? Open file location. Okay. And what that'll do is that that's not what I wanted. So that's the actual shortcut. So we can go to properties. Okay. Yeah. So if we go to properties, you can add the cheats to the end of this here. Okay. And then uh, hit OK and start the game. You should be good to go. It should work through Mod Assistant, but if not, that's the backup plan. And then Steam has a way to do it as well. Let me open it up here. If you go to uh, Library, it's the same for 25 as it, is, as it is 22. You go to Properties, and then right here to Launch Options, you just add, add Cheats. And you can add Skip Start Videos, and that'll skip the Start Video for the game. So, okay, yeah, that's how you get it all set up. And if you guys have any questions or want to know any more, anything else about it, or you'd like more videos like this, just, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day. We will have more content coming soon.